Hey everybody, it's Marilyn, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Bottega Veneta Eau de Parfum for women. So this to me is definitely an underrated fragrance. I do hear a little bit about it here and there, but it's not super popular and I don't really know why because it is a fantastic leather perfume marketed for women, but I do think that men can definitely pull it off. So first I'll show you what the bottle looks like here. There it is. I do own the Absolute version. I'm not really sure which one I like more. <laughs> I like both for sure, um, but the Absolute version was on sale, so I got that one. Um, anyways, that's what it is. It's very, sorry that it's blurry. It's very simplistic, minimalistic. I like the bottle design here. Now, I have tested this on my skin several times, but I'll just spray it on here so I can sniff it while I tell you guys about it. Wow, all right. <laughs> so this one was released in 2011. The notes listed are pink pepper and bergamot in the top. The mid note is jasmine and the base notes are leather, oak moss, and patchouli. So what does this one smell like? This one opens as a bright, clean, and earthy citrus. And that earthiness is coming from this very beautiful, mossy base note. <laughs> to me, it feels like I'm sitting on a bed of wet moss, but at the same time, I'm like eating a grapefruit or a combination of different citrus fruits. And that smell of that earthy, Oak moss is kind of overpowering the citrus in here, but the citrus does stay bright and refreshing. And it's a very unusual opening. It's not something that I smell often or if I've ever smelled it in any other perfume. So I do appreciate that it's very unique. Now, as this fragrance dries, this perfume does feel like it's getting thicker and even more earthy. And I start thinking of a certain imagery in my head when I smell this or when I wear it. So I'm picturing myself sitting in a log cabin in the middle of the forest. There's this really nice big fur rug on the floor. It's very warm and there's a fireplace off in the corner just warming the entire room. And I am sitting on a very expensive, luxurious, leather couch and then also on my lap is a new designer leather handbag and of course I'm thinking of a Bottega Veneta leather handbag with a beautiful stitch. I don't know what you call it. It looks like, it kind of looks like this. I don't, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> what it's called exactly, but that's the imagery that I'm thinking of um, when I smell this or wear this in the mid and dry down. The leather in here is absolutely stunning, you guys. It's extremely creamy along with this creamy, smooth, luxurious, expensive leather scent. I also pick up on a patchouli, but it's soft. It's a very soft, fluffy, and clean patchouli. I also smell a little bit of spice in here and a tiny, tiny bit of sweetness in here. Um, there aren't any, well, there's bergamot here, but there aren't any other fruity notes in here. But on me, I get a little bit of a, a slight fruity sweetness, maybe peach. I'm not really sure what it is, but it does add a nice little touch to this scent with that little tiny bit of sweetness because I do like sweetness and fragrances for the most part. So all in all, this is a very warm, luxurious scent. It smells expensive. It smells very glamorous. The oak moss is in here isn't very overpowering or overwhelming. Sometimes with oak moss, I do struggle with the note if it's just too much, but in here, it's very much toned down 
mixed in with that nice, soft, clean patchouli. And basically, it just smells like a very unique leather scent. It doesn't smell like a typical designer kind of scent. Is it the best leather scent for designers? Well, hmm, I think it's definitely one of them. Um, Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford is my favorite leather scent, but that's debatable whether it's niche or designer or maybe it doesn't really matter actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is up there for sure. Um, I said earlier that I definitely think that this is unisex. It doesn't really smell womanly or masculine to me or anywhere in between. Anyone can wear this. It's absolutely stunning. Definitely an underrated scent for sure. And if you're looking for a unique leathery, like a suede leather type of scent um, with some earthiness, a little bit of sweetness, maybe some musk too, although that's not listed in the notes. In the dry down of Bottega Veneta EDP, I do get some muskiness too. Adding in to that earthy patchouli and oak moss. So yeah, I really enjoy this one, you guys, Bottega Veneta EDP. Definitely one to try. I think it's perfect for the upcoming fall and summer season for sure. And yeah, beautiful scent. So I would love to hear what you guys think of this scent if you've tried it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.